Hey guys, it's Jamie here and we're going to work on the May circus theme journal. What I've done is, because these are removable, I've tried to see what is actually going to fit into this journal. And as you can see, without even adding pockets, it's getting quite chunky. I've done 12 pages and there's two sets of 12. It's a mixture of pre-printed from the digital kit and things that have been made so far with the altered photographs, that scrapbook paper. We've got just some plain coffee stain there. So we've got journaling space on some of these as well. Old music score. This is actually from the fairground kit rather than the circus kit. And I'm just gonna quickly flick through this so you can see how these pages are looking already in the journal before we do any work to them and we will be doing some work to them. You can see there's plenty of journaling space in here, even though it looked like I was decorating everything. Some of this will need some extra stuff adding or some coffee stain paper putting over so it's of use. But I just wanted you to see how it's looking. So that's signature one, this is signature two and some of these are already in the playlist so you can see how they were made how they're looking this needs finishing off because i need to neaten up the back because she flips over a lot so we do need to neaten that back off so it's to see what else we want to add to see how it's looking so far what needs finishing off whether it's grab grabs us color wise look wise got a bit of old kitchen paper there with ink stain on it so does it have the junk journal feel that i like which is a bit of a mixture of everything and the back cover still needs doing so first things first this is not usable and we do have from the previous playlist things like these pockets and we have a journaling card that goes with that pocket. And this was from the master board again in that playlist. So very, very quick and easy to add some decoration because we prepped this up so that you could just pull the backing off. Just going slightly above that rip. Normally I'd go to the bottom of the page, but I'm aware that is ripping slightly now that because it's got those hinges means there is plenty of room to put the journaling card in so that's a page done decorated this side again probably need to do something here we could add some plain coffee stained paper we've got a belly band i mean you could add a belly band and then something tucked into that we have this one i don't know if that will fit under there probably just and that again is a journaling card or we could tuck some paper in there some extra paper let's put the belly band on i think if i fold it that way don't need to put extra decoration on this i have got coffee stain version of that i'm gonna go past the highly decorated pages at the moment because there may be more things that i want to add later now i know that in this one we have another music sheet here and this time we might add a piece of coffee stained paper so that this has more use and we could just glue that on as it is and then decorate up the edge as well so get some print stick so it doesn't wrinkle too much so you can write on it wet glue will wrinkle a lot print sticks quite good for adding paper that you want people to be able to actually write on maybe we want to decorate over one of these edges that's where the kit's going to come in handy because there were some little bits of ephemera we have like a a clown face don't have to put vast amounts down we have a whole strip here which is in that theme color i might use that somewhere else things like a uh, tickets i think i quite like that clown actually if you want you can get an ink stamp out and stamp on this as well you can 
white gesso on bits of this paper or you can keep it simple like that this side might add that strip and something else that you can write on this time i have a slightly different grid paper obviously it is too big so i'm going to want to take some of that down so that ends up being a bit of a journaling spot too they can obviously journal on this as it is one is okay might come back and do something to that let's go back over to signature two where we've got some more of this music sheet because i think it's good to get the music sheet aspect done see what we've got for that so we have a pocket what do we have that would fit in the pockets would fit in the pocket and that is another journaling tag i'm going to put that one down then over the page we have another area that we're going to want to cover with something we have the back end of this and we do have some more of this you want to use a clear glue on that or sew it on but it means you can see what's underneath without it being too disruptive so i'm going to go with that now this is our first run through i tend to do a couple so one is to get some basics done the next one is to go and th well where do I want to put some paper clips or some page tabs? Where do I want to add a bit of collage? So the first one is just to start to get some basics down. I've used the Uhu all-purpose adhesive on that. You can see I've just pulled some glue up there. I can take a strip of paper, run it down here, give it a circus theme, cover that up. I'm just seeing if I've got anything that's long. So we've got like a little jar game so we could have a jar here i think i've got another one and a jar guess how many stars are in the jar so you could even add this it takes a little while for that uhu to take it does it's then very very secure i put my magnets on with that so that's that one and then it's gonna have its opposite over here got a, another big tag and another pocket and they could go together this side do have some more pockets i also have things like hook a duck pick a straw there is actually a whole interactive hook a duck i think that actually makes quite a nice little decoration for that page and if it's not a journaling spot it's not a journaling spot that's still okay beautiful paper i don't think you can write on it very easily i have a little corner pocket there so I'm going to put that corner pocket on this one. And then the kit actually came with some little journaling cards. They just need holes poking into them. That's one little piece of ephemera in that pocket, but there are other bits. A little ticket stub, and that can go in. You can ink edges as well if you want. The other side might just add a bit of decoration or paper. I'm just trying to decide. Tiny little circus tent. I might put that on there that looks quite sweet let's go and see what else we have that might feel like it needs decorating all right we have another piece of this don't we do have a belly band but i don't know that it fits that very easily do just have some plain paper you could add a piece that flips out I'm going to fold this back a bit just so that you know that it flips out and then that gives you that to hold on to to flip it out with I'm also thinking about what's going to go above this in terms of decoration we do have that hooker dark so we could glue that down like it's a pocket and that would then flip up i'll we'll get the baby powder out because I don't want things sticking to each other and then being a pain. Make that like a little handle on there. Now. Okay. I think we've done enough decorating of that side. I have a bit of circus style paper. We could take a bit of coffee stained paper. That way we create a journaling spot and then we could add a little bit of decoration to that bit and that's that page done just bring it that way i feel like i want to put something up here and you could do 
like a little teacup that way I'm going to do that I'm going to create a little collage at the top of there now it's got a bit more to it that isn't anything you could write on again probably want to add a journaling spot of some sort yep I think I'm happy with that as that is so let's get that down could do like a something extra and I don't mind if it all clashes or anything a little tent there you can always add bits of decoration if you really want to on the plain ones a little collage a little got a little we have a belly band here I don't know how we're doing uh, we've got this here as well which is quite so we've got a belly band so I might put the belly band on this one you could decorate that and add a little something to that so it's not quite so dull we have a little teacup on that journaling card and then we do have a little homemade one so that's that paper dealt with I think back to the beginning there's nothing on this beginning section and I'm just wondering if we just make a big pocket from this I can pop that onto there because you can't write on this page it seems quite dark then we can put something in that pocket that you could write on equally we can decorate the pocket I actually have that which we've made another time it says explore and it is the first page so that's sort of appropriate I think in this one we could put there were some postcards already made and some games that I haven't made up yet you've got these cards of these women you could put one of those in and they'd have space and then you've got postcards here as well as well as cutting up a few extra pieces of ephemera from the kit I've also been through and grunged up every single page with distress ink it took a while I grunged up this because it was too white it looks better to me and that's what set me off on my inking hour this pocket now needs something to go in there and we have all sorts here now we've got a woman visiting the carnival or the circus we have a postcard all of these can be used for journaling on we have a little round circular thing that says carnival that's three pieces or three journaling cards in that pocket there we also still have the flip the notice board doesn't have that much in there so we can add some extra in here woman little label here I have little flags I know those should really go on pages but I think I could put them there and grunge that there's more that could probably go in here certainly could hold plenty here you've got a journaling page here you've got some extras in that belly band so again we can put another card in there something else you could journal on I'm wondering if we could just glue that one down there these are both journaling pages there's not a lot going on on them we could actually add some hinging and make that a pocket that postcard has made a really quick pocket with some depth because we put the hinging on therefore we can put something in here this is just a spare piece of the paper so we can put that in and I have another spare piece so these all make great little journaling spots and decorate that page plus you can still write on the page this page you can write on might just put a little something in the corner all right that's decorated that page just a touch this page this could do with something and we do have things like these might add that as a page edge could just do a little sign at the bottom that says tickets that way this page here again don't have much going on but I do have a stamp that's a bit grungy stick that one down there I'm just wondering if there's a little bit left and if we should just go here with it okay it overlapped a little bit there but that's okay to fade all that in 
just grab the old grunge to color her in and put that over this page i think is fine we have a belly band here with nothing in a postcard and we've got one of those so let's get both in this one's a little dull but it's journaling space you don't have to add something to every single page not very exciting as it is but it would make a little pocket if we throw a bit of decoration on it get some of this paper which was used as a background to a frame cover the brown envelope with that although i'd normally use mod podge for this glue stick will also work when it's dry i will tear at it to create some edges i've got a very quick pocket decided although i was going to put it on this one i don't think it goes so i'm going to put it on here i'm going to decorate this first got this clown and cotton candy and candy floss and so i'm going to put the two words on there and the clown these little envelopes are the perfect size for playing cards it's not the best color to be able to stain this quickly because it's plastic I'm going to put over a piece of plain tissue, which means that you can then stain it, because otherwise, with it being plastic, it's not going to stain. Put some glue over the top and let that dry off. Once that's dry, it can then be stained. While we wait for that to dry, I'm going to throw some coffee stained writing paper onto here. You could fold it down and journal that way Is there a little something on here that's a bit more interesting do a tuck spot it will definitely fit there and then tuck something in there can i actually put a postcard in there piece of paper i've got some scrap here which is just spare so i'm going to pop that in there because it's something you can write on that i think is okay it'd be nice to do a border i've got a tape measure this side could just put a tiny little clown in the corner there we go just a little extra you do have all these little picker straws i think what you'd really want is the tiniest pocket going just wondering if that would make a super tiny little pocket and i was thinking about it i was thinking how many envelopes do i have where i could just cut the envelope to fit that glue that to the front and then you've actually got a natural pocket this is now dry and stained up it looks nice and grungy and old and it's going to go in there we've got our pick a straw now on here on this side i'm just going to put this little elephant tiny little decoration there that's fine 